Waiter, waitress, or bartender could be getting a significant raise if a new bill becomes law here in Maryland. Yeah, a state senator from Charles County proposes to raise the sub-minimum wage to four tipped workers. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live in Fells Point where many people dine out and drink at the many bars and restaurants there. Mark, state lawmakers are already looking at raising the minimum wage. What would this mean for sub-minimum wage workers who rely on these tips? Yeah, good morning, Randall and Megan. The state's subminimum wage for tipped workers right now is three sixty-three an hour. But Senate Bill 803, which is being introduced today, proposes to increase that to the state's minimum wage, which state lawmakers are already looking at bumping that up to $15 an hour. Now, the state minimum wage went up to $13.25 on January 1st, while the sub-minimum wage for tip workers has remained at $3.63 for nearly 10 years. The coalition One Fair Wage estimates that since the pandemic and the Great Resignation, nearly 20,000 Maryland restaurant workers quit their jobs. Hundreds of Maryland restaurants are raising wages to recruit staff, but some find many workers will not return to the service industry unless they can make full minimum wage. Maryland's tip workers already have seen their neighbors in Washington, D.C. get a bump in pay. Last November, D.C. voters approved to raise the wage for tip workers from 535 to the full minimum wage of 1610 an hour. Some Maryland wait staff might prefer to make the commute to D.C. to make more money, creating increased competition for service workers and staffing issues for Maryland restaurants in the D.C. area. Raising the subminimum wage would affect more than 185,000 tipped workers in Maryland. Senate Bill 803 would ensure that tipped service workers earn not only a full minimum wage, but tips as well. Meanwhile, inflation is taking a toll on both employers and employees, as business owners say higher pay and increased operating costs could force them to make a choice to pass expenses along to their customers or go out of business. One more year I'm going to watch and then, you know, I'm probably thinking to go to different kind of business, you know, sell it or close it something like that. We are kind of pressured to um, up our prices in about maybe six, seven percent in most of the sandwiches and coffee. Now, State Senator Arthur Ellis, along with a group of Maryland restaurant owners and tip service workers, will be in Annapolis today to introduce Senate Bill 803 at noon. Reporting live in Fells Point, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News. All right. Thank you, Mark.